Here's a big update. It's coming in on the Rada couple's bail hearing that's currently underway. Gharat points to the Bombay High Court order where the Rana's plea was rejected. The Bombay High Court had said that the state was justified in holding the apprehension. Uh, in fact, both Ponda and Merchant point out that Bombay High Court had put a disclaimer that the lower court cannot, cannot be influenced by the Bombay High Court's observation. Here, we're looking at a desperate bid to attain bail. Mustafa Sheikh joining us more on that to give us uh, an understanding of what kind of arguments are currently unfolding in court as the Rana's lawyers uh, are arguing that indeed they're, uh, they're eligible for bail on several grounds. What are those? Mustafa, please take us through what's currently going on in court. What is the public prosecutor as well as the Rana uh, lawyers are arguing? What kind of arguments are we looking at? Well, before we start, just to tell the audience that the day's uh, court proceeding is just about uh, to end. It ends normally at 5 p.m. We'll have to wait and see at what time it ends today. Uh, there was a, you know, attempt by defence lawyer Abad Ponda to get and secure bail for the Rana, Rana couple. Uh, the main uh, argument is around Section 124A, which is the sedition charge which has been applied on Ravi Rana and Navneet Rana. And that is what is keeping them behind bars because that's something which carries a long-term uh, three years imprisonment punishment and that's something which is difficult to get a bail on. So the, uh, what uh, the Abad Punda has said that they have, uh, the couple has done nothing of uh, the sort to get a sedition charge invoked on them. They wanted to go to Matushri but at the same time they didn't attempt. They just said that they wanted to go. They didn't go there. So there is a difference between saying and attempting the crime. So that's what the differentiation which they were trying to make. While the prosecution is insisting that it's a case of sedition because they had said that they have to remove this uh, government. They had said a lot of things against the government which makes it an attempt to topple the government and hence section 124A has been applied and it is justified. Uh, public prosecutor is also arguing the case of, of what comments which were made against the Rana couple in the Bombay High Court. Remember the Bombay High Court judgment didn't go in their favour, the FI was not caused. So that is something which is being read out and uh, defence lawyers are saying that it's not valid in the lower court. So we'll have to wait and see when the special public prosecutor Pradeep Gharat concludes his argument saying that the bail should be, uh, uh, you know, uh, not granted at the same time whether the judge delivers an order today or then or the, we have to wait till Monday back to right. you. Well, you're, you're saying, Mustafa, that at 5 usually the court uh, shuts. It, it's almost closing time for court. So, uh, if anything, they've got to give a decision on whether or not this uh, bail, is, the, the bail is granted or whether the judgment is reserved until Monday. That we know in just a few moments from now. But we're, India Today, of course, on top of this story, continues to track uh, the Rana couple who are currently in prison, their desperate bid to get bail from the Bombay court.